Everybody, welcome back. I'm Yumble, and today I would like to discuss this thing. Now, I don't have a name for this, but it looks an awful lot like our friend Vanilla Overpass, so today I'd like to try this out. Just for a little context, this appears on Interstate 66, just west of Washington, D.C., in Fairfax, Virginia, which is basically my area. So this is local to me. So I see these, and I always think driving by, I should, I should explore this. I should make a video about it. The anatomy of it is basically an access from 66 west to exit onto this overpass. It also provides access for traffic from this overpass to get onto 66 east. You'll also notice it doesn't go in the opposite direction. So this is facing the downtown area of Washington, D.C. The two that I'm aware of are on the western side of the map here, Bridge Thing and Second Thing in Fairfax, Virginia. They are both facing Washington, D.C. on Interstate 66. So there is a bunch of thought put into this where it is to serve traffic going away from the city and also traffic going towards the city, but it doesn't provide a ramp going the opposite direction. Now, before we dig in and build this thing, I also want to point out that our bridge thing falls between two major junctions. This is 66 and 28 on the west side, and this is 66 and 50 on the east side. This falls in between the two, and I think is meant to support those connections, and is also a step below them in terms of hierarchy. So it's a minor connection meant to support larger roads connecting to, to Interstate 66. And here we are in city skylines. I've replicated the scenario that we were looking at earlier, basically a major road at ground level and a minor road going over top. So now let's, let's dress it up with some vanilla overpass. I'm gonna show you how to do, basically replicate what we saw in Google Earth. So I'm just gonna make a, I've already marked the center and we're gonna use vanilla overpass two lane road to go down to ground from the middle. If you hit home, it goes to ground, by the way. Helpful, helpful little tip that I didn't know for a long time, but now I do know. In this case, because the traffic is actually gonna be symmetrical from all sides, it should be about equal. I may make some special arrangements to kind of change this around. If you know what I mean, I might reconfigure it a little for this example. What I've just done there is I'm using the A piece of vanilla overpass with node snapping turned off and I've just made a little two unit segment. I'm gonna make a little marker there just to, just to retain that node. And then we're gonna go with B, the B piece should go along here. Not connecting to the top ideally. There it is. Not too bad, not too bad. And perhaps the C piece connects to that, but we'll, we'll see. What I may end up doing is actually making the same thing on the opposing side. I also have other videos of Vanilla Overpass. If you want to see some different techniques and stuff, look for my, my cursed video and, uh, well, the Vanilla Overpass video. <laughs> this is not my first rodeo with this set of roads from the Steam Workshop. Very cool. So that's how you basically replicate the one side of that ramp that we saw in Google Earth. The final piece to this puzzle is actually going to be setting up lane connectors. So you can hit Control S to set those up. This one, you have to connect manually, I believe. Unless, nope. <laughs> nope, you got to connect them manually. This is a nodeless road. There's no node. I don't want to get too technical with it, but that's, that's what's going on there. Nice. Now, because, as I said, everything is uh, symmetrical traffic wise. So what I'm going to do for now is we're going to do an experiment where I'm going to replicate this on the other side and we'll see how that works and we'll see what it looks like. So that came out pretty much fine, except for the cars. Let's put in a traffic light and actually see how this functions. I actually think that this has no business working as well as it does. I think what we've really created here is kind of a center exit or a left-hand exit single point urban interchange or SPUI, some variation of. Obviously, I swapped out those uh, the four lane road for a asymmetrical four plus two road to make the stacking for the light more favorable. And of course, the ramps could have the same treatment. There is a different version of vanilla overpass 
different set of assets from the Steam Workshop that uses a 2 plus 4 plus 2 configuration. So with those four lanes, you'd get two lanes going in, allowing the lefts and rights to stack, which would be very helpful. Uh, but this is really good, actually. Doing quite well. But it's not why we're here. What I really want to explore is this same concept from Fairfax, Virginia, where this ramp is facing one direction. I'd like to separate this road into another kind of mi minor crossing and have the ramp facing the opposite direction and see how those work uh, in conjunction with one another. Well, I can't think of any reason why you'd want this in real life, but it certainly exists now in game, in our hearts and in our minds. A side effect of the way that I've set up the roads here is that this upper example with the ramp facing away doesn't have any through traffic just due to the nature of the connections that I made on the other ends. All the through traffic is being served by the lower overpass here. It works great though. Like everything's, everything's working fine. I don't really see too many advantages in this when compared to the way we had it before. Because really these could be consolidated and it, it wouldn't be that much worse. Perhaps a benefit is that the traffic is, is spread out a little bit more. But uh, that's a whole lot of extra overpass for a, for a little bit of traffic advantage. There's one more thing that I'd like to try. Well, I've got this set up. This is, for those of you that have used a vanilla overpass, which produces this, you know that it's a bit kind of cumbersome to work with. The result is fantastic, but the getting there takes some, uh, takes some finagling. So without having to do too much more work, I want to try one more configuration. Well, I guess this is something fun to think about and maybe fun to look at, but ultimately, I don't really sign off on this design for use <laughs> anywhere in particular. Uh, what we have here is the highway, or that what was once the minor road going over top has been split into two one-way networks, two one-way roads, with the vanilla, pass, vanilla overpass connecting in the middle, and then these two two-lane one-way roads connecting both sides. So it's kind of a, a false roundabout. I think that there's a design that's actually a lot like this, though is much better and, and requires a traffic light called a full diamond. Don't quote me on that. I've never actually built one, but I believe it's called a full diamond interchange. Um, so this is kind of an inferior version of that. But at the end of the day, it wasn't about this. This was kind of an extension of, of other ideas. At the end of the day, what I was looking to to observe with this video was really this this idea here the concept of this single ramp coming off the highway pointed towards the city as a means to support the other the other interchanges nearby other more major interchanges and in that way i think that that is a useful device this apparatus is not but the the idea of a a dedicated ramp headed towards the city and to get out of the city to support the other interchanges in the area, I think is extremely valid um, as seen used in, in Fairfax, Virginia. But that is it for today. This was a fun exploration and a good use of vanilla overpass and just uh, spitballing some ideas I wanted to share with you, you know, get some discussion going, all that type of stuff. Uh, feel free to join the Discord if you'd like. Put up pictures of your own vanilla overpass exploits if you'd like. Uh, we can talk about it and see what we can come up with it together. I also stream on Twitch twice a week, so feel free to follow over on Twitch. But everyone, that's all I've got for today. Thank you for hanging out. I will see you in the next stream or the next video.